Hello! Good morning! Good morning, Grade 8! Welcome! Welcome to my classroom! This is Ellie Eduavi, your Grade 8 TLE teacher. Our topic for the third quarter is all about fish processing. Before going further, let me introduce it to you. The fish processing and its processes. To start with, let me read to you our objectives. What are our expectations? The learners, you of course, you should be able, number one, to describe what is fish processing. Number two, you should be able to enumerate the different methods of fish processing. And number three, you are expected to internalize the importance of fish processing much on this time of pandemic. I have here a video for you to see. This is about homemade dried fish for only two days of drying. dried fish na pang two days. From the video, can you define, describe fish processing as a process? Okay, so let me summarize. Fish processing refers to processes associated with fish wherein mechanical or chemical operations are done to transform them for future consumption. From the definition given, can you elaborate what is meant by mechanical and chemical operations done to the fish? Okay, class. Mechanical means the fish goes through refrigeration and freezing or cooking them in an airtight container. Chemical operation means a salt solution or some spices are added to enhance its flavor or prolong its shelf life. Again, from the video again, try to refresh your memory. And from our definition, what do you think are the methods used in fish processing? Okay, here are they. Fish processing methods, drying. Drying is the oldest method of fish preservation. Going back to the time of our ancestors, the fish is dried under the heat of the sun to inhibit the growth of bacteria by means of dehydration. You see, they are living on top of the mountain, some of them, and they have to go to the sea or to the river for fishing. And to avoid spoilage, they have to dry their harvest under the heat of the sun. And that is dehydration or drying. See? Number two, salting. Salting is preserving fish that was more common before modern refrigeration. The fish is surrounded with salt and left in a cool, dry place. Smoking. Smoking actually is a method of drying. It also gives flavor to the fish. Smoke helps keep bacteria carrying insects away during the process. Next, pickling. Pickling is done by immersion in vinegar or fermentation in brine, meaning soaking in a saline water. Pickling is different from fermentation. Pickling involves putting food into acidic brine while fermentation allows the food to undergo chemical change in order to produce sour flavor without adding acid to it. Take note of that. 
Number five, canning. Canning is a method of preserving fish in which the fish contents are processed and sealed in an airtight container. Canning employs the process through heating and sealing the food in containers for storage, like in the case of sardines. But you can do it at home by bottling method. Now, after all this discussion, what do you think are the importance of fish processing? Fish processing is important in the attainment of self-sufficiency since if all of us knows the process, there will be enough supply since fish processing prolong the shelf life of fish and there will be no wastage. If you are idle, you can do it and it can give you income. So therefore, it gives you employment. If everyone has income, and everyone has uh, are employed, there will be no hunger. Surely, the economy of the country will increase as well as the dollar reserve the country through exportation. Lastly, fish processing lessen the spread of COVID-19 virus. How? How? Very, very simple. Because Food processing as a form of food preservation allows only fewer trips to public places such as groceries and malls. You don't need to go to market every now and then. So do you have questions? For your assignment, here it is. Drying fish is fun. Do it at home. Follow the procedure in the video that was shown. Send yours at your TLE group page. Thank you and good day. This is Teacher Ellie signing off just for today. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay, now.